Do you need a powerful fast laptop for your GIS needs? Stay tuned because in this video you're about to see the three best laptops for GIS. After watching this video you will not have to look anywhere else because I have covered everything about these laptops here. Whether the laptops have advantages or disadvantages. So choose your favorite laptop from this video and click the links provided in the video description to buy one. One, Lenovo Legion 5. I like the feel of the Legion 5 despite its all-plastic build. There's a stingray white finish as well as phantom blue, which is a darker shade of blue. The laptop alone weighs about 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds, then 3.5 kilograms or 7.8 pounds total with a large 300 watt power brick and cables, so on the heavier side for a 15 inch laptop. Depending on the angle of light, the Legion text on the plastic lid has a sort of rainbow effect. The plastic interior has some flex, but it wasn't something I noticed during normal use except when I intentionally pushed hard. At the bottom of the panel, there are a couple of air vents at the back and a couple of speakers at the front. Despite its 15.6-inch 1080p 165Hz displays decent color gamut and above-average contrast, FreeSync starts relatively high on this laptop. For privacy, there's a physical switch on the right that physically disconnects the camera above the screen, but no IR for Windows Hello. The Legion 5 is available with either a white backlit keyboard or 4-zone RGB. If you press the function plus space shortcut, you can cycle through several different effects. Mylar is used for the precision touchpad, so it is plastic. I like how smooth it is, how it clicks anywhere, and how it works. 2. Acer Aspire 5. At this price level, you won't get cutting-edge design, and the Aspire 5 has a clamshell design with chunky borders around the screen. It gets the basics right, though, with a sturdy chassis that should be able to cope with a few bumps in a backpack or bag when you're traveling. Although it's not an ultrabook, the Aspire 5 only weighs 1.7 kilograms and measures 18 millimeters thick, making it perfectly portable. It gets the basics right, though, with a sturdy chassis that should be able to cope with a few bumps in a backpack or bag when you're traveling. The 14-inch screen only provides 1920 by 1080 resolution, but it's bright and clear, with good viewing angles. We're also pleased to see that it has a matte finish that helps to reduce glare and reflection. A 720p webcam is a bit basic, but the image quality was better than expected. The image gets grainy when the light is low but with some decent daylight, the image is sharp enough for video calls. The keyboard feels firm and comfortable for typing, and there's a fingerprint sensor on the trackpad for security. 3. Razer Blade 15. As is always the case with Razer's laptops, the solid metal CNC aluminum chassis feels excellent, easily the best build quality as far as Windows-based gaming laptops are concerned. The black finish is a massive fingerprint magnet, but I also found it fairly easy to. Razer's Blade 15 is the best built gaming laptop that I've tested all year. Seriously the build quality of this thing is on another planet compared to the competition. There is a good color gamut on 8-bit screens, but the contrast is relatively low compared to other screens. We see an average gray-to-gray -gray response time of 4.76 milliseconds, which is excellent for a 144Hz panel. For a 4K screen, it does quite well in comparison to other laptops. There's a 1080p camera above the screen in the middle, and it has IR for Windows Hello Face Unlock, which I found to work fast and accurately. All keys and secondary functions of the Blade 15 are backlit with RGB. Using the F10 and F11 shortcut keys, you can adjust the brightness to 15 levels. Alright guys that's all for now if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and please do leave your feedback in the comments it will be much appreciated. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products in the market all the time. So if you want to be updated then make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to look in the description to find the most up to date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video.